We have, as a species, long suffered the results of a civilization with foundations for understandings built upon outdated belief systems, and a funded academic institution in which one is rewarded for repetition rather than that of pioneering a theory which could shine a light upon the oldest, most controversial corners of human civilization. Where did we come from? How old is human civilization? These are questions which we have not only witnessed being ignored by the majority of mainstream academia, but have also shown, through what we believe is overwhelming evidence to prove that this same entity, entrusted with the accurate account of human history, has not only concealed a reality which threatens many mainstream belief systems, but also the modern attested theory of evolution as a whole. Entire chapters of human history, and also, more than likely, entire branch of subspecies of giant humanoid remains removed from the history books, concealed within kilometers of hidden artifacts, hidden away, withheld from the masses, often in favor of profitable avenues, born out of stability of understandings which powerful institutions grown out of which, in turn, protect their own survival rather than that of the allowance of furthering the understandings of the common man. There is not only strong evidence still to be found all over the planet of past highly advanced civilizations which displayed capabilities far beyond that of any civilization within the permitted timelines of investigations, but prove the tremendous age of some of these ancient ruins. These relics far from mere ruins, are in reality more accurately described as the fossilized remains of human activities that do not just stretch a few hundred thousand years into the ancient past, but due to the time needed to develop such features, are indicative of a civilization nearly or possibly over a million years in age. The great stones within the western wall, for example are not only far in excess of any weights the already studied permitted ancient ancestors within known history were capable of moving, or indeed using as building blocks, but fortunately this site still possesses ancient wooden stakes, presumably once used within the method of construction, which regardless of the fact that the method is still an enigma to modern understandings, the wood, in contrast to stone relics, can indicate an age as to when this foundation was undertaken, petrified, fossilized, now stone blocks of what was once wood, that are unquestionably of an incredible age, support our argument of this far-spanning, currently dismissed chapter of ancient human civilization, which, if embraced by mainstream science, would not only prove this past beyond doubt, but would in turn threaten many currently highly profitable and as such extremely powerful and in turn influential belief systems and the institutions which have grown up around them in regards to ancient human origins and development. Fossilized tree roots can also be found upon the megalithic blocks of Gornea Shoria. Many other sites, like that of the inexplicable ancient temples of Petra, in some of the less publicized areas of the site, display immense erosion regardless of the site's relatively sheltered location. It seems that many of these oldest of sites not only often lay below several feet of sediment, which due to the funded and as such same rhetoric within geological studies forbids said sites to even be recognized as that of the past work of intelligent man. Due to this immense age, any human remains that may have been left by these ancient builders would have long turned to dust or have been fossilized at the site. Concealed upon their discovery, or like any site which gains notoriety within mainstream media, secretly revisited and ransacked of any evidence of this incredible age. We believe that possibly the only remaining traces of these past ancestors can now only be found within the most obscure and curious of places, like that of the Altamura Man, for example. A rare fossil 
apparently of the genus Homo, discovered in 1993 in the karst sinkhole in the Lama Lunga cave near the city of Altamura within Italy, that thanks to its location and the near impossible feat it would be to remove him, has been left in situ for the world to see, and thanks to where he fortunately lay, has been slowly growing ever since his death. He is quite possibly of an immense age and died an incredibly long time ago, and has, instead of slowly decaying away, fading away like the world which he once lived within, has continued to be preserved in the calcite that has grown around him. Remarkably well preserved but embedded in stalagmites and covered in a thick layer of calcite, the fine was left in situ in order to avoid damage. Research during the following 20 years has been based mainly upon documented on-site observations. Consequently, experts have conveniently remained reluctant to agree on a conclusive age, and have thus never arrived at a mainstream consensus on the species it belonged to. In a 2015 paper published in the Journal of Human Evolution, it was announced that the fossil was apparently a Neanderthal, and dating of the calcite has revealed that the bones are possibly older than 187,000 years old. How old is human civilization? Where do we come from? These questions persist, and as such, so do our endeavors of exposing the truth regarding the reality of these remarkable relics of a now forgotten history. Relics which we find highly compelling.